We're in York. We just had our breakfast at our hotel. And we're heading towards the cathedral, which is over there. Why did nobody ever tell us how beautiful York was? It's stunning. It really is pretty. So we're looking forward to seeing more York this morning, and then we'll be on our way to Durham. We've just come out of York Minster Abbey, which was pretty incredible. The, although there was some scaffolding and some hoardings up inside, which kind of detracted slightly from the views, but it's still very much worth seeing. Right now, we're walking through the streets of York looking for the shambles, and it's pouring down rain, which is fine. We have our umbrellas, we're prepared. You have my umbrella. Well, you have a <laughs> waterproof coat. So, hopefully the rain will stop. We're gonna find the shambles and then the train museum and then we'll hit the road. That's because it looks like Diagon Alley. The shop almost that one. <laughs>
sun. Kind of. Glorious sun. Still raining. But it's still raining. <laughs> That's the most English thing to happen so far. But the sun's warm at least. We're at Fountains Abbey. Um, this was not on the itinerary. Nope. We saw the signs and thought, that's a famous abbey, we should go see it. So we followed the signs here and... Pretty easy to get to. It was pretty easy to get to. But if you... I'm going to turn around so you can see. Yeah, take a look. We'll have some more footage of the inside in a sec. Oh, I don't know. Can you see the rain? Like, can you see the rain falling in the sunlight? It is stunning. It's cold, but it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's proper autumn here today. Um, Fountains Abbey, its source of wealth was wool. <gasps> wool, wool, wool. It was wool so good the Italians would buy it. I'd buy it. And the whole... I hate to use the word plantation, but that's what they called it in the history books I read about this place. Mm -hmm. The whole area around this abbey was dedicated to wool production. And everybody who worked here and lived here facilitated wool production because it was gold. And that's how you can build such a massive abbey that rivals Yorkminster Abbey. And it's, of course, it's a ruin thanks to Henry VIII and the dissolution of the monasteries. So we'll have some more footage of it. Just a bit. We have arrived at the Hotel Indigo in Durham. Um, it's very nice. It's, I think it's in an old municipal building just, uh, just outside the cathedral quarter. You can kind of see it from here. You can see the Georgian street below. It's very pretty. It's a little smaller than the room we had last night, but that, that room we had last night was unusually large. There's a TV, it's a bed. Covered. Interesting looking map of Durham. Mm. Bathroom. And a shower. Not a bath, unfortunately. So we are here for the night. We're gonna have dinner and then tomorrow morning we'll explore Durham. See the cathedral, which we unfortunately discovered is covered in scaffolding and then we'll continue our journey north. Yeah. 